Before we assign the license to a user, let's validate whether the license is assigned to the user or not. For this, I open the in private window and uh, open the office.com to log in with a standard user account which does not have a license as of now. I will click on sign in. Here I provide the user account Delia and for this user account the password is provided and then I say stay signed in no and log into the office portal to see the office license or any other applications that have been assigned to this. Uh, this is the introductory screen where it provides you a virtual tour of the Office 365 services. Uh, I will close this window and uh, we can check the applications or we can see that whether the license has been assigned to this user or not from uh, here. Uh, this appears something like this, a message that shows that the user does not have a license. Well, uh, in our case, we are going to now assign the license to this user, but not directly to the user, but through a uh, group. For this, I will create a security group and assign this user a member as a member to that group. I will close this window of office and will open the uh, admin portal, the Office 365 admin center. And uh, through the Office 365 admin center, we assign the license. But before we do that, let us create a security group. Creating a security group is a quite straightforward process. All you need to do, you need to go to the groups, all groups in the Entra portal, or you can do this from the Office 365 admin portal or Azure portal or through the PowerShell and many other uh, different uh, uh, portals are there like in Tune portal also you can use for this. Now I will go to the all groups in the Entra portal and will create uh, a security group. Let this be loaded. Here on the top, you see there is a button to create a new group. I'll click on that. And uh, in the new group, we, are, we have two options here in the group type security and Microsoft 365. As I mentioned that security group is used for the permission assignment and the Microsoft 365 for the collaboration purpose. You can provide it this uh, friendly name and the description for others reference whether it will be assigned or dynamic. So I'm going with assigned and I will add the member directly to this group for the license assignment purpose. Later, we will see dynamic groups as well for the user assignment based on their attributes. I will select the user to which I want to assign the license. I will click on select and uh, will create this security group. To do the license assignment, we will have to use the admin portal. So I will uh, open the Office 365 admin center to assign the license because this has been switched from the Azure portal or the Entra portal now to the admin center for managing the licenses. So it is advised to use the uh, admin center for the license assignments. I open the admin.microsoft.com portal and log in with global admin account where I'll show you the licenses first of all. So I click on this hamburger icon and click on billing. Under the billing, we have licenses and uh, under the licenses, I can see all the licenses available. Microsoft 365 E53 licenses are available. I click on that and then I can assign it to the users from here. As you see the first option that we have done already in the previous lab here, this time I will assign it to a group. So I will click on group and then assign it to a particular group that was created by the uh, name starting with SC300. So, uh, in fact, it was uh, uh, the SGSC 300. So yeah, this is the group and I'll click on assign and the license assignment will be uh, done for the users in this group. So you assign the license to this group. This is how we assign the licenses to a group. Now let's work with the dynamic groups before we work with the dynamic groups, we can log into the office portal using that user account and uh, uh, validate that whether the license has been assigned to the user or not. So we can sign in with this user account and uh, see the 
applications or the licenses available for this. This is the username and the password. User logs in, stay signed in, no. And there we go. Here the user can see its account, the all applications that are available from the left top panel. So here we have the option to see the applications, Microsoft 365 Copilot and the uh, more applications can be you know added from there based on the requirement. Well, uh, this is uh, the license assignment on the groups. Next, we will see the dynamic groups. How do we deal with them? So I'll create a new group and this time it will be the Microsoft 365 group. And uh, then the group name, uh, friendly name we will provide to this. This is the Northwest Sales. And uh, this is the group email ID, the description that we can provide here. And uh, here we want it as assigned or dynamic so we can decide. So let us go with this uh, uh, Microsoft 365 group with the direct assignment with the users that I want to make a member of it. For an example, Alex. So this is Alex. And uh, the second user that I want to make a member of this group is uh, Bianca. And then we select these two users and make them a member of this Microsoft 365 group that we can use for the collaboration purpose in SharePoint or Exchange or for the uh, Microsoft Teams kind of applications. Uh, well, now is the time to see the dynamic group membership. We can see these groups that we have recently created by refreshing this window here. And uh, the most interesting part that I was also excited about to show you is the dynamic group that we can create that requires a premium license basically. So this is a premium feature of the Entra ID where you can assign the users to a group based on the attributes. Right now I provide this group name as SC300 my dynamic group and then a dynamic user or device you will choose. You will add the dynamic query here where you will provide the attributes based on which you want the users to be a member of a particular uh, group. So choose a property or you can provide this query directly in the rule syntax and you can add it here. So in my case, I selected user dot object ID not equals to null. So where the user's object ID is not null, that user will become member of it. Uh, in my case, most of the users have already the object ID. So they will all become the member of this group and uh, remember this is case sensitive so you need to write this rule query properly you can learn about this uh, rule expression from the uh, microsoft learn reference link i will put in the description of this video now let's see that whether any user has become a member of this group or not for that i can uh, uh, go and check the members it takes a while to update the group membership so right now i may not be able to see that immediately but yes in case you want you can uh, validate this you can uh, uh, change the group membership rule also anytime on the left you see that as your role be below as your role assignments you have dynamic membership rules in case the rule that you have specified is not uh, working as per your desired requirement so group memberships, you can add some groups directly into it, add memberships. Okay, here you have the different options like the properties you can see of this group. So this is the group detail. It's dynamic user that has been used here. This is the object ID. The members, there are, there are no members as of now. As I mentioned that we need to wait. So this is direct member, excuse me. The all members in fact uh, are not there, but yes, we can validate. And uh, for that, I can go to the dynamic membership rule and I can update this rule also in case required. So here we have the option to edit this query. Okay. Uh, for an instance, based on the user's department, city or country or their job title or manager, based on uh, different attributes, we want to control their memberships to the group. In the validate, I go to the validate and see some of the users that whether they will become the member of this group or not. And it shows you the validation is passed and the status is uh, okay. So they are in group actually. So uh, because these users have the object ID assigned to them. 
that's not equals to null that is why they will be member so you can also validate whether your rule is uh, correct or not with the help of this